Tisha, people come to movies to escape, uh, enjoy some snacks and relax for a couple of hours, but much to Dan Saw Fury's surprise, the biggest uh, action was not on the big screen. A real life drama fit for the very big screen he was watching. I don't normally go to movies at that time of day. For Dan Stuff Fury and his family of five, that trip to the theater was set to be a fun Sunday night treat. Little did they know it would be a lot more than that. There was a commotion going on in a row, so I, I didn't know what was going on. A part-time Franklin County EMT, Stuff Fury sprung into action after seeing a woman in her mid-70s struggling. The right side of her body was starting to uh, I guess you would say C's would be the best word, so she was having a really hard time walking. Along with three others, he helped carry the woman down the stairs. Once there, Stahl Fury gave the woman a stroke test and called 911. As the movie finished, he stayed with the woman, comforting her until paramedics arrived. To end up in the same row that she was, it was almost, to me, it was like divine intervention. Now, he wants to check up on the woman he helped save, a sense of closure he typically misses while on duty. And with this lady, I was with her for a good 20 minutes or so, and I think we made a pretty good connection. I'd love to be able to get more information on her care, what, what happened. As a sign of their appreciation, theater management gave Stahl Fury's family free tickets. Not often do you have patrons that are not only willing to help someone in need, but also understand the fact that their movie viewing experience was interrupted because of a medical emergency. Hopefully for a film they'll be able to watch uninterrupted. Though that can be easier said, then done. I just got a 911 page. <laughs> so Fury also serves as a volunteer firefighter in Granville County on top of a full-time IT job. Now the movie theater also stepping up to offer free passes to those patients who uh, were disrupted due to that incident. Now if you know the woman involved in this incident, make sure to reach out to us so we can try to contact them. Live from Marquis Cinemas, Wakefield 12, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. Yeah,